Uh, but this was my my cholesterol total. And uh, I had in the past eating a high fruit diet, gotten blood work back with um, really high, way over the top triglycerides. And but my total cholesterol was well within acceptable levels. And uh, so I just kept marching on thinking, you know, it's fine. I'm in range and everything's super de duper. Um, but this one came back and it was a total shock to me. I've never in my life had high cholesterol. I have come across quite a few people who said they have high triglycerides, high triglycerides on a high carb, low fat vegan diet. It's my total cholesterol. My HDL cholesterol is perfect. My uh, LDL is high. So it's uh, the range is from zero to 99 and mine is 136 and the total my total cholesterol rather the range is from 100 to 199 and mine is 220 and so my doctor is like I don't even understand how you can have high cholesterol. So the one real surprise was my LDL cholesterol was 110 it should be below 100 it should be well below that as a vegan and the only issue I, my doctor wanted to point it out was my um triglyceride levels first of all my cholesterol levels you know they're gonna smash it because I don't eat any animal products uh, my triglycerides were a, a tiny bit elevated a little bit above they want you to be um, uh, below 150 the one surprise for me well not too big because last year it was 109 my LDL my bad cholesterol went up to 129 which got it flagged as being outside the reference interval and what this blood test showed was that my triglycerides were, let me get you the exact number, they were 162. And I was a little bit concerned, so I really tried to eat like super clean. I decided to go for another blood test to see if anything had changed. So in March, my triglycerides were, let me tell you, 255. So they had gone up almost 100 points since August. Then the next thing was my liver. <clears throat> um, my liver is looking really average too. And he's like, ask me if I drink and things like that. And I'm like, no, I don't drink. Um, and like, it needs to be like, there's like three number things here. And one, it needs to be like uh, in between zero and 54 and minus 75. The next one needs to be between zero and 44 and minus 73. And then the last one needs to be between 110 and 230 and mine's 365. So yeah, my liver is not doing great. And they are wondering like, why? Like, and also this blood test of Christina, fully raw Christina, showed Christina's triglycerides high. They're really, they're really pretty good. Your, your iron store is at seven, above five is normal. That's on the lower end of normal. Okay. That's good. I have been dealing with high triglycerides as well. Um, I know the cause of my high triglycerides and I do not think that it is the high carbohydrate diet. Triglycerides, you want them less than 150. I've got 160. Again, not an issue. Hi everyone, I want to share the results of my vegan blood test with you. Uh, this is a test taken at about nine months after being a vegan. The triglyceride level is actually elevated quite high. Um, definitely an area of concern that my doctor brought up with me. Cholesterol total 154. Excellent. Triglycerides 179. Whoa! That's almost a three fold increase. 2.9 to be exact in my triglycerides yet so um this is say eight nine months of being vegan my liver function so my total proteins for my uh, my total protein level there we go right near the upper level in the in range uh now my cholesterol is high i think i will get another test done in six months just to see if this cholesterol level has reduced. Here's his, here's his comment. Blood test levels can change every eight weeks. I know my triglycerides went through the roof when I was vegan and I had a high fruit starch intake. What, what makes you think that eating a high fruit, high starch based diet, you have high triglycerides? Did you, so you had 
high triglycerides eating that way? That would be really surprising. 